I am perfect just the way I am. This is a fascinating equation because that requires everyone else to remain exactly what they are because I am perfect just the way I am. It is the great statement of the I am, the great white light deception, the great design of consciousness which disregards everything that is here within the physical reality within its interdependence as the physical and it focused the totality of importance on the consciousness the thinking mind the imagination and the make-believe reality of the person where they create themselves according to what they would like themselves to be and what they pro project to the rest of the world as a person. That I am that is being projected is not real. It requires you to believe in it. Then you have to enforce it and get others to believe in it. So you have to brainwash those around you to concur that this I am that you are presenting is acceptable. This happens at the family level, at the friend level, at a job level, at a school level, at a political level, at all levels, this manipulation takes place. And then the great fear that if you do not have at least some people that accept you the way you are, there is something wrong with you. But if we remove all of this and we stick to that which is really actually valid, the physical self and the requirements of the physical self and we regard that as the I am then we can really actually deal with real stuff and not with imagination because imagination is illusion and imagination is always done by a dishonest person that present pictures where they are the winner. It's time we end this illusion. It is time we realize that we are not perfect the way we are. And that our self-acceptance as the way we are now, this acceptance of the I am, is not the key to life. It's in fact the key to self-deception. When one re accept oneself within self-honesty, you accept that which you are now from the perspective of finding a starting point and a foundation point from which to perfect oneself and to change oneself. As careful when you hear, I am perfect just the way I am. And everyone else is perfect just the way it is. And the world is perfect just the way it is. No one thing. The person is deceptive. And they are normally protected in their lives. And they have some point of knowledge or self-interest or money or love that they are protecting. And they will fight for it. Best to let them find out the truth of their deception. Turn around and run away. They will not hear you. But in time you meet again and all the falseness will be stripped away and they will be angry first. And then eventually they'll realize I must forgive myself and I must realize that I have created this false image of myself. And then they will start to stand up for perfection. All they have lost is time, obviously. Sometimes too much time. Remember, time, strangely, is always against us.